All right, this is Sam. This is something I got in the mail today. It's the Pyre Fall and Winter 2012-2013 catalog. I have not opened it for even a second yet, and we're just going to flip through and see if there's anything cool in here. And knowing Lou, there'll be plenty of cool things. All right, the Skybound C, the Aeons Gate Book 3 from Sam Sykes. So Sam, Sam Sykes, we have Tome of the Undergates, Black Halo, lots of fire for that one. Also, we got some green verdantry and a waterfall and swords and bows. So Sam is an awesome name to start with, Sam. And uh, he's profane, he's witty, he's kind of disturbed, and that's that's just his Facebook feed. There's Sam right there. Uh, I have not actually read these books yet, but uh, I've heard some really good things about them, and if Lou publishes it, it's probably worth checking out, which I will someday, I promise, I swear. Ah, yes, awesome. Clay and Susan Griffith, The Kingmakers, book three. So we got another Chris McGrath cover for these. Uh, we started with The Greyfriar, Riftwalker, and The Kingmakers. There's Susan hiding behind Clay over here. They're going to debut at Dragon Con this year. Um, it's been a fun series. I listened to the audiobooks of this series, so I have to wait still. Um, James Marsters, the voice of Spike on Buffy. He is reading the audiobooks, and they are fantastic. And thank you, Lou, for publishing them. What do we have here? Ah, oh, Brenda Cooper. Fantastic. So Brenda Cooper is the co-author of Building Harlequin's Moon with Larry Niven, one of my favorite books of uh, the 2000s. And uh, the story behind this cover, there's a great article from uh, John Picasso. I'm 99% I'm sure that's the, that's the artist. I don't see it. Just scanning this page real quick. Um... The story behind this is really cool. So this is a, a tough, a tough woman. Um, I'm sure Brent has written a really strong heroine here. I'm really interested in looking, looking forward to this book. Looks like it's book one of Ruby's song, so it's going to be a series. Definitely look, looking for that. Uh, so Mark Hodder, A Red Sun Also Rises. I've obviously heard of Mark through his Burton and Swinburne series. I've never heard of this book before. I'll have to check this one out. It says it looks like it's an original adventure, so it's not going to be a Burton and Swinburne book. So, go Mark. Um, never heard of that one. Looks kind of, uh, looks like a different cover. I haven't seen a quite, cover quite like that from Pyre before. So, cool. Mike Resnick, The Doctor and the Rough Rider. So this is another Weird West book, looks like, yes, a, a Weird West tale. There's Mike. Yay. I saw that the first book in this series um, had just been the, the Buntline Special, The Dark Decay, one of these two books, just, just got named on, on a list of, of the best westerns of the year, or even maybe a period longer than a year. So that was pretty cool. Um, I remember uh, Joe Giddings reviewed both these books so far for me, and uh, it's definitely a weird western kind of vibe. Uh, these are ones I have not read yet, so... But uh, definitely, definitely different. Okay, Andrew P. Mayer, Power Under Pressure. So this is the next of his Society of Steam series. There's, there's Andrew. Awesome beard, as always. Um, with The Falling Machine and Hearts of Smoke and Steam. These are another couple that uh, Joe Giddings reviewed for me. And another series I have not read yet. <sighs> not enough time. Here's one I have not seen. The Devil's Looking Glass by Mark Chadbourne. Um, the Swords of Albion, book three. So, yeah, Mark is another one of, of the Pyre authors I have not delved into yet. Tons and tons of books. Tons and tons of praise. Uh, these, these look familiar. Silver Skull and the Scarecrow. Men. Um, that cover I remember seeing before. And, um, but a series I haven't picked up yet. Looks like book three is coming. James Bond Adventure in the Court of Queen Elizabeth. How exciting. So it looks like we're now into the young adult section. So Ian McDonald, Be My Enemy. Based on this cover, I'm guessing this is Planes Runner Book 2. And the next installment of the multiple award-winning authors exciting YA series, I'm guessing it is, The Everness Book 2. So this is, yep, Book 2 after Planes Runner, which came out late last year. Uh, thanks, Pyre. They put an ad for that book in issue 7? of bull spec, something like that. The, the, the numbers kind of blur together. So Pyre started branching out into young adults 
science fiction and fantasy. Um, there's praise from Cory Doctor on this series. It's one where I have not read, of course. There's just not enough time. But I hear more and more about it, and I hear more and more about Ian McDonald's other grown-up books. So I know he's an author I need to read very soon. E.C. Myers, Quantum Coin. This has to be the Fair Coin sequel. Yep, there it is. Um, the sequel to the exciting adventure spun across parallel worlds. And here's E.C. Myers. Very blurry. There we go, kind of. He's assembled from Korean and German parts in Yonkers, New York. Where he's jointly raised by a mother in the public library. Go library. So another YA book. Um, here's one I've never heard of before. Tim Levin, London Eye. It's like this is book one of a new series. The Hunger Games meets the X-Men in an exciting post-apocalyptic debut. Go Tim Levin. Sounds pretty cool. Over here. Now this I have an arc for, so I've heard of this. Alan Steele with a YA series, um, starting with Apollo's Outcasts. It looks like it's going to follow some young young adults uh, becoming part of some space agency of search and rescue. Failure is not an option. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with Alan from his Coyote universe. And uh, I'm actually really interested in <laughs> squeezing time to get to this because I have an arc. It's the first of a series. I don't, have to read, I don't have to read a bunch to catch up. I'm definitely looking forward to checking that out. Alan is really cool. Okay, Dave Freer is a name I know from somewhere. Oh, that yeah, cuttlefish. So there's cuttlefish. And the Steam Mole. So that's interesting. I, I read this year Rail Sea from China Mieville, which had steampunk kind of trains going after hunting moles. So this is like an actual steam-powered mole digging thing. Um, cool. What an imaginative beard. Okay, here's something else I've not heard of. The Lazarus Machine from Paul Crilly. A Tweed and Nightingale Adventure. There's born in Scotland, Paul Crilly moved to South Africa when he was eight years old. So, looks pretty cool. Is this a book one of a series, or what is this? I'm guessing it's book one of a new series. Steampunk Adventure for fans of Sherlock Holmes and Doctor Who. Doctor Who. The world cannot get enough of Doctor Who. There's another one I've not heard of or seen before. The Crossing. This looks a bit, uh, maybe a little bit like horror. A compelling dystopian novel. Winner of the 2010 New Zealand Post Children's Book Awards for Young Adult Fiction. Well, that's pretty cool. I do like dystopia. A post-apocalyptic thriller. Well, this is kind of maybe a chance to talk about one of the things Lou does besides publish awesome new fiction. Um, is he he gets some stuff from England or from France or here in this case from New Zealand looks like and brings them to the to the U.S. and um, just somehow he discovers these books so fantastic. Not a big fan of this cover, <laughs> but the description sounds kind of cool. Oh my, Ari Marmel, Ari Marmel. I don't know how to say your name, but you're a funny dude. So Thief's Covenant, and now False Covenant. So Thief's Covenant was another one of those kind of not quite launched, but one of those first YU books that Pyre put out last year. Um, so it looks like it's coming with False Covenant. Hopefully I have the right order. Maybe I have it backwards. Anyway, he also had the Goblin Corpse. Goblin Core? The Goblin Corpse? The Goblin Core? Who knows? Uh, a book from another publisher. No. Was it Pyre? I have to look. I'm rambling. Anyway, Ari, he's funny. Mouse Feratu, I think, is his Twitter handle. That's, that's pretty cool. All right, K.D. McIntyre. So looks like we have this Lightbringer and Reaper. I don't know anything about these books at all. I just know that especially that Lightbringer. There's something something going on in the back of that uh, that cover. It's kind of skeletal vulture looking thing. I'm kind of frightening. Yeah, interesting. So looks like it's a cold. Oh no, I don't know. Don't know anything about it. I still don't know anything about it. Young adult romantic urban fantasy. Cool. Not usually my cup of tea, but like I said, Lou puts out good stuff. So it's like additional titles, additional titles. The Abercrombie's books, Horns of Ruin, older stuff, older stuff. Again, the, the Chadbourne page. Uh, there's the Mark Hodder original stuff. Oh. James Angie, A Gal of Dragons. That's a, that's a very new book. I guess it didn't quite make it to be a feature of this 
um, this particular catalog because it's not even quite out yet. You see, it's out a little bit later this month. It's kind of a prequel to his uh, Ambrosius series. So you learn a little bit more about uh, the young Morlock Ambrosius. Oh, Aaron Hoffman. So that was, this was book two. This is The Lance of Earth and Sea. Lance of Earth and Sky, sorry. Um, the first book was Sword of Fire and Sea. Aaron Hoffman is is a, a great young writer. I hope you guys check out her books. We have just some more also more also out stuff. Uh, additional titles. Tom Lloyd, The Dusk Watchman. That's a pretty new title, I think, as well. Oh, yeah. Here. There he is. Sorry, Ari. I thought you had, you had uh, strayed from Lou's side. But nope, it's a pirate book as well, The Goblin Corps. Oh, here's a couple of other ones that are recent. Um, Ken McLeod's Restoration Game came out either late last year or early this year. And it's another one of those that was originally published overseas. I think this was one of the England titles, and Lou brought that here. Um, and here's the night sessions. What do we have up here? More additional titles. Here's our Ian McDermott section. Yeah, oh, sorry, Ian McDonald section. I should be, I should be in a lot of trouble for that probably. Here's our Mike Resnick section. And here's uh, one of the books I mentioned that, that he brought over from, from France, Alchemist of Shadows. Also, The Cardinal's Blades, which was the first book in that series. And uh, getting some more stuff, and then also here, also here, and some more in the also here, also here. So, John Sprunk, Shadow's Master. I don't know when that's. It's probably already out, and I missed it, but. Shadow Sun, I finally got to. I finally started another one of the series. Lou, I told you I'd read more of your stuff. And that was actually pretty cool. I thought when it started, I thought it was going to be, you know, another pretty similar to what I'd read before. Here's a thief, and he's going to do some assassinating. And, but he's got some interesting backstory, some interesting powers, and an interesting kind of voice in his head slash sidekick ghost haunting him thing going on. And uh, it was a really, really well done first book. And so when I get a chance, I'll get to Shadow's Lure. That's another one on another one of the series I'm, I'm doing in audio right now. Let's see. And here's our, I think, our final page. That's it. Lots and lots of contact information. And the old pretty book spread. Again, not not a big fan of the uh, the crossing thing, but maybe it has some kind of symbolic meaning to the book. I'll check it out when it comes out. So that's uh, Pyre. Fall and winter 2012-2013. Gradually on another great series of books. And uh, look forward especially to checking out the new Steel YA book. Later.